out here on this nice stormy day. I put this 5.3 together. Finally got it fired up. Um, I'm gonna grab a uh, with a spring, a return spring grab right here, and bring it to here. <laughs> I've only got two two bolts holding the manifolds on, so you can hear the popping from the leaks. But it runs. Sounds good. So this is the 5.3 that I swapped the heads out because one of them had a uh, junk thread for the uh, for one of the uh, spark plugs. Disconnect all that. Now that I got it running, yeah. So, oh, that's that's exciting. That's awesome. Happy that this one finally came together. That's awesome. Okay, so I also picked this up. This is a uh, 0953. Um, this is going to be the next project. Well, I don't know if it's going to be the next project. I got to take and delete the uh, AFM uh, setup on it. And then I'm going to put new lifters on it just to further delete the AFM and then I'm going to throw that carb up here and fire it up. So yeah, I'm going to order some parts cause it's, it's missing these bolts. I know this is a little nitpicky stuff, but you know what? I'm just going to get the other plate instead of reusing this one and just uh, putting the plugs in, I'm going to uh, get the ICT billet one that blocks off all the passages. Yeah. So I'm going to get that order a new, uh, because this one's crushed. I'll get another uh, vent tube. I know that's not going to help it run on what I'm trying to do with it. But long term, I want to fix that because I don't like it. So yeah, I got that. And then... These are some... No, these are the... Oh, that's right. Okay, so these are another 706 set of heads that I picked up. This is what I was getting over here to show you all. Though. I would be looking at the wrong side, right? <laughs> it's a 706. What did I do here? <coughs> I'm sorry, they're right here. So this one and this one are a matching set. Evidently, I mixed them up. Oh, geez, another blanked off one. <laughs> you can tell I wasn't prepared for this in the conversation, huh? Okay, so now we got it. So 240, 243 heads. These are going on. This is a 6.0. This is what's scheduled to go into my full-wheel drive um, the, the 56 full wheel drive right here. This is the, the engine for that. So I'm not going to try to lift that one handed, but this is the, uh, cathedral ported, um, newer. This is off of the 2010, um, intake, uh, manifold. So 
I'm excited about this thing. I'm, I'm glad I picked this up. Um, I'm put these two together, th slap those heads on here. I'll get a video of this fired up and running. Um, I want to completely go through this and, uh, I don't know what cam I'm going to do yet. Um, so I'm going to do a Brian Tooley cam, of course. Um, cause that's the cams that I do in most, most of the engines that I build. Um, minus that orange one over there has a summit racing cam in it. Stage two summit racing cam. Um, so it's either going to be a stage two truck cam, uh, from Brian Tooley for this guy, or I'm, uh, planning to put a stage one LS3, uh, cam into my teal two wheel drive 56. So that's coming up to also. So yeah, I'm going to build this, uh, I'm going to go through, do new seals, gaskets, uh, water pump. Uh, I mean, anything that needs to be refreshed on it. Um, I also don't think they're out here. I think they're in the house, but I got another set of uh, um, coil packs off of uh, LS3. Um, I know it doesn't mean anything. I just like the way they look versus these. So these are going to go to another motor. Uh, the LS3s are going to go on here. That means I'm going to change these valve covers to um, some black ones that only have the valve, I'm, I'm sorry, the coil packs bolted to them. Much cleaner look. Um, i trying to think of anything else that I'm doing with this thing. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this is going to get a uh, PSI conversions harness with the OEM... Um, computer i believe i haven't fully decided since it's getting a 4l80 behind it and this is a third gen ls uh, i could go either way but i got a little rowdy today tuning a uh, terminator x so i don't know that was pretty fun maybe i'll do it to this one too either way i'm still gonna run the uh, dakota digital dash in this truck so yeah more to come this is that 48 still for sale still for sale uh this is the one that i ran in that last video uh ls2 sold where i'm gonna be swapping that into a truck for somebody um l86 that one's got a stage two truck cam in it uh i, I went through that one new seals gaskets oil pump that kind of thing um so it's ready to go I'm looking at possibly running this also with a carburetor on it just to make sure that it sounds good and all. So I guess look forward to that video, but I don't know about that one yet. Well, that's a later, later dated thing. This project should come up during the summer. Um, I also have a 4L60. No, I'm sorry, not a 4L60. A 6L80 for that transmission or that engine uh going into that same um two-wheel drive blazer so those these two engines are queued for projects my personal engine this one should go into the 73 k10 that i'm putting together um haven't decided if i want to put a 480 behind it because maybe i should just carburate this engine and throw it in that truck with the uh turbo 400 that i have I don't know yet. This is this is the third in line though. So I need to fill, finish the four-wheel drive 56. And then we'll deal with the two-wheel drive 56. Once the four-wheel drive is running. Um, tear the two-wheel drive apart. Put it on its own final chassis. Um, get the lowering kit dialed in. Tires and wheels. That kind of stuff. Maybe even paint it. I'm going to try painting it myself. And then once those two are somewhat together... Then this guy comes online, and uh, we're going to do the 73. I already put the lift kit on it. There's some work that's already been done to the truck. Um, the lift kit's on it. i got to do some body uh, panel sh swaps. Um, I'll, I'll show those later on. Uh, once the weather gets better, because I still need to pull that cab off that truck and put it on the four-wheel drive chassis. Once this chassis is out of here... I can uh, bring that four-wheel drive truck in here, pull that cab off, put a newer cab on it, and then, uh, yeah, 
trying to eliminate some of the crap I have in the yard. All right, that's the update I have. Just wanted to share that I got this one running. I'm going to shut down this gate or the garage now because it's starting to get cold. All right. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're hanging on this long. I appreciate it. Later.